Hey everyone, my name is Ronaldo with Apron Entertainment, four schools only. I wanted to talk to you about my absolute favorite light ever, and that is the American DJ Accu UFO. This thing is just absolutely beast. Okay, now I don't, I can't move the head too much right now because it's plugged in. Because you're gonna see a little bit of it tonight. You'll uh, see it with and without haze, so you can make the difference of what you like on your own. But to tell you a little bit about the light, this is an old school effect. Um, you know, it's based on the older UFO lights. Everybody's made them before. American DJ absolutely perfected them. And the reason that I say that is because of the way this thing is built. First of all, it is a heavy fixture, but it's light compared to the uh, previous UFOs. Uh, the first UFO that I ever had was a 20 amp sucker. I mean, this thing, that's it. It was its own outlet. Some of them had to even be hardwired in. This one is basically you plug it in and it takes, what, maybe two amps at the most. Uh, DMX compatible, it's LED, it's kind of like a tri-LED and you see some of that tonight. Um, very fine stepper motors actually, you have 8-bit movement and 16-bit movement. 16-bit is a very, very fine uh, focusing, 8-bit of course is a traditional moving head that you may be used to already. Um, very nice matrix LED uh, arrays and what I mean by that is you'll actually see programs where this is spinning and the LEDs on this side are just on as it's spinning, the rest are off or it'll blink every other one. With, uh, with haze, you have to have this light. If you can use haze, you're going to go out and you're going to purchase this light, you're going to hang it up, you're going to call me and you're going to say, dude, Ronaldo, you're absolutely right, this is the best light I have ever bought. I'm telling you, this thing is absolutely amazing. This is the thickest instruction manual for a light that I've seen in a long time. And I was like, goodness, I mean, I'll add a little bit of weight to it because there's a lot of stuff that this light has to have or has you know, to offer. First of all, again, I have to mention, it is a very well-built light. It's very smooth, it's very quiet. I'm gonna turn it off for a second so you can hear it. We're gonna bring the camera up over here so you can see the display. Now you're gonna notice that you don't hear this light going at all. You just hear... Right back here. Again, the ones that you do hear, you hear the rrr, rrr, but you don't hear anything else. It's a very quiet light. Now, again, to me, quiet doesn't really matter at all in a light fixture, but it will matter, you know, when you're doing maybe, for example, a slow dance because this thing is really cool for slow dances. So, again, very traditional many here, just like the Spherion Tri LED that you see over there. Or further back, you're going to see one of our two Nucleus Pros that we have set up. Very similar many array. But there's a lot of different options so don't get these things memorized because this one's slightly different you have your dmx address you have your test you have your play now in your play you have where you can run this as master or slave you have your reset reverse pan and tilt uh there's a degree option too which let me see real quick i don't want to really get out of my dmx because i already have set up but a degree allows you to have this thing rotate either 360 degrees or 540 degrees you have your displays uh whether you know you flip it back and forth um you have your RDMX, and then of course you have your traditional DMX addressing. Guys, this thing has a lot of DMX channels. Um, just to give you an idea, here's the eight, and here's the 10. So let's talk about the 10. The big difference between eight and 10, actually we'll talk about both. The difference between eight and 10 is eight has your eight, or allows you to do eight bit movement. The 10 allows eight bit or 16 bit movement. So it adds those extra channels. But this thing controls everything. You have your pan, you have your tilt, you have the speed, you have your lens indexing and rotation. Lens indexing means it can either go uh, fast forward or slow forward in one direction. Your LED effects, these are the combinations of lights. If you look over here, there's tons of combinations. You have red, green, blue, white, red and green, red and blue, red and white, green and blue, every combination you could think of, including two auto programs. Channel seven are built-in auto programs. Channel eight is your LED speed. Channel nine is strobing. And then channel 10 are the built-in programs. Pretty easy there. So again, how would you program this light? Well, you can use these already to make some pre-built shows, okay? You could use uh, auto program so you can just control the lighting and have the movement already be done. Because honestly, the hardest thing about programming this light is going to be programming the movement. Because there's tons of different options. And then you have the built-in stuff. Now the shows I'm gonna show you are done with the built-in because I have not had the time to sit down and program this light, I'm gonna use the built-in shows. Uh, sound active on this, I need to talk about sound active. Just like the Nucleus Pro, sound active is insane. It is very, 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 very accurate. I don't know if I can stress that enough. It is by far the best sound active fixtures that we own. They're so good, 
I could almost say forego DMX and just hit the sound active on your DMX board and let the thing run itself. It's really, really that good. Uh, so I'm gonna show you a couple of little different options that you have here with the built-in movements. So you can see this is one of the pre-made shows and it's always unpredictable. It is, the shows themselves are a little bit, are sound active as well. But they are, the functions, the colors are already pre-chosen. You also have your preset. So let's real quick choose a color. Now again, you'll notice what I mean by the DMX there, or the matrix, I'm sorry, where it actually rotates the LEDs. When I saw these UFO fixtures a while back, there was one company that had it where the inside rotated, but not the actual outside platter. It still gave you the same effect. We had some other companies that the inside stays still and the outside rotated. This is like having the inside ro the lights rotating and then the outside platter rotating. So why does that give you a neat effect? Well, let's look. Now, as you can see, actually, let's speed that up just a little bit. It's kind of hard to picture without haze, but as you can tell, you can actually have the lights keep moving, or the actual platter moving, in one direction, while the lights are going in the other. And if you speed it up just right, it's going to give you a really wicked cool effect. So imagine you have your beams of haze, and it looks like it's hitting it slowly. And then of course, you can rotate it to however you'd like. So let's talk about sound. Again, the sound activator mode on this is a very accurate show. I'm gonna show you some samples of it right after this clip. You're gonna see some samples of it. Uh, actually tied in with the Spherion Tri-LED and the Nucleus Pros and the Tri-Phases, which aren't shown here right now. But again, right after that, then you're gonna see this without haze, so you can make a comparison. Do I like this with or without haze? I'm not gonna lie, it's not gonna be as impressive without haze, but nothing as is impressive without haze. But even without the haze, this thing's gonna do some really cool stuff. More than anything, it's gonna be eye candy. So we're gonna show you that, those kinds of tips. Um, last thing I wanted to talk to you is about hanging. You have gotta be careful and you have gotta know what you're doing. Um, you do have a safety cable bracket, okay? I also did safety cables on either side here, just to be safe. And you have, which is kinda hard to tell right now, but you have little mounts. Let's go ahead and try to zoom up on that for a second. You have these mounts here. Now this is not part of the UFO because the UFO can sit flat on a table. These brackets here get clipped on and then you twist the heck out of it. Honestly, these things are so tight, I just used a regular clamp to turn it because it is really hard to tight with just your bare hands. So get a, uh, no, I'm sorry, get a wrench or something just to make sure it's nice and locked in, okay? Now as far as the clamps, did not know this when I bought the light, you need to get the Omega clamps, which are real thin here, because the standard clamps, as you can see, I had to use some washers, they don't have enough clearance. So get the Omega clamps, plus they're better clamps anyways. But this is nice and secure, as you can tell. I am pulling on it. So again, my name's Arnaldo Offerman. Just talk to you a little bit and rock with you. The American DJ UFO. It is my favorite light ever. I'm serious, go out and purchase one. It's not the cheapest light ever, but then again, your services shouldn't be either, so you should be able to afford this light. Go out and get it. You'll love it. Call me. Tell me how good it was.